Can everyone out there hear me just fine? Awesome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I have everyone's attention, please? One of our dinosaur eggs is very close to hatching, so if I can have everyone join me over here by the nursery window for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Now then, judging from the very swift movement that we have been seeing, we honestly don't have a whole lot of time on our hands, and I want to welcome everyone to our Discovery Center. Now, my name is Zach Highwind, and as one of the veterinarian technicians here at our nursery, I want to encourage everyone to stick around for the next few minutes. Because if y'all do, you're sure to witness one of the smallest yet greatest wonders that we have here at Jurassic Park. The birth of a living, breathing baby dinosaur. Now, speaking of little dinosaurs, I do want to make sure that all the little ones find their way up front so they can see. All of my taller or my adult dinosaurs will see great from behind or from one of those overhead monitors. Now, as I was saying, this hatching unit has just alerted us to what we like to call IHE. Now, that stands for an imminent hatching event, and believe me, y'all do not want to miss one of these. And as a friendly reminder for anyone who is just now joining us, it is this little gal right here that we all want to keep a very close eye on. Uh, now they say that Jurassic Park is an adventure 65 million years in the making. However, at our nursery, our adventures can take only... Well, it certainly won't take 65 million years, but I think our adventure is just about to start. Now come on, one, you can do it. Come on. Push. Push, 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 push. Alright. Say hello to the world, baby dinosaur. Now that is pretty spectacular. Uh, what y'all have just witnessed has occurred naturally for around 80 million years. Does anyone know what type of dinosaur this is? Stegosaurus! What'd you say, buddy? T-Rex. T-Rex is a very good guess, but she's actually going to be smaller and faster than a T-Rex. You guys are right, she is a Velociraptor. Uh, quite a noisy one at that. Uh, but what can I quickly tell y'all about the Velociraptor? Well, first and foremost, let me inform y'all that when, that when raptors... Rap, uh, uh, when raptors hatch... That's really cute, but it's not. Please be quiet, okay? Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Uh, when raptors first hatch, they are quite loud and they're quite, quite cranky, and they're also incredibly rude individuals. Now, other than that, raptors are part of a dinosaur group that is closely related to modern-day birds. Now, just like birds, raptors do lay eggs. Uh, each egg will weigh roughly two pounds and take about 90 days of incubation before hatching. Now, when they do hatch, they are born fully formed, just like a miniature adult. Uh, which means she already has tiny claws and tiny teeth, which both of them are incredibly razor sharp. Uh, which is why I'm going to do my best to keep my hands away from her when I pick her up, but I think she's distracted by other things. Yes, you are. Uh, I'm not whatsoever. Now, believe it or not, this little one is going to mature quite rapidly. She's going to reach her full adult size in just one year. Uh, so by then, she'll actually be about one foot tall and incredibly nasty. Now, before that happens, we do need to take very good care of them until they are big and strong enough to join the rest of our pack. As a matter of fact, that is one of the biggest challenges that we face here at the park, introducing our little ones quickly to the other raptors, but not before they're able to hold their own. But I think this little girl's got off to a pretty good start, wouldn't you say? And, uh... Uh, speaking of good starts, it has become a bit of a tradition that whenever we have a hatching, we like to allow our guest the first crack. The first crack. There's usually followed by a laughter. And naming them. So who wants to name this baby dinosaur and forget about my terrible new joke? Guess what? Say that again? Victor? That's a really good name for a baby dinosaur. Once you miss, I'll only take little Victor.
throw away, but if y'all have any questions, please ask myself or any of the other vet techs or discovery guys out on the floor. Uh, like we have our newest intern, Intern Browning, as well as uh, Dr. Boon over there by the pillar. And we're not exactly paleobiologists, but we will answer everything that we can. So do y'all have any questions? Yes, buddy. No, they are pack hunters. Uh, determining on uh, based on their social skills, sometimes they'll hunt in packs of about four or five. Any other questions, guys? Alright. Well, if you don't have any questions at the moment, I will need to take her down to our brew house. Uh, down there, I'm going to check her weight, take a whole lot of measurements, and cut her out of that embryonic fluid, all that white gunky stuff um, that she's currently trapped in. But for now, I'm going to wait about a little victor. Jurassic Park's newest and crankiest tiny terror of the bygone and happy discovering.